Is it legal for the Canadian government to force people returning from travel to quarantine in hotels while they're waiting for their PCR results? Habibi, my name is Hassan. I'm a lawyer making videos on YouTube. In other words, you should definitely not take my opinion as legal advice because it definitely is not. Here's the story. The federal government came up with a rule on Friday, among other things, that requires people coming from abroad to quarantine in hotels for up to three days out of pocket while they wait for their negative PCR results that they got at the airport. And that's true whether or not you have a PCR test that's negative from the place where you were, by the way. Now, it's important to say that I'm not here to discuss the merits of this political decision. So save your pro or anti-liberal comments to yourself because nobody cares about your feelings. We're just here to discuss in very simple terms what the legal questions might be in this situation. So let's get started. You should know that the Charter of Rights and Freedoms gives you certain rights that theoretically the government is not allowed to violate or even limit. For example, your right to liberty, blah, blah, blah. You guys know these rights. At the same time though, that same charter gives the government some leeway in being able to limit, aka violate, our rights under certain circumstances. And those circumstances usually have to do with the broader society's interests. In the current situation, the most obvious right that's at play here is section six, which is your mobility rights. Basically, section six allows us to move in and out of the country, among other things. By extension, it prohibits the government from restricting us. So you would think to yourself, boom, we got the government right there. Pack it up, boys, we're done. Not so fast. You have to remember that our rights are not absolute. Remember when I said that the government can limit our rights, AKA violate them under certain circumstances? Yeah. That power is in section one of the charter. Section one is there to basically balance our individual rights and the government's ability to do its job and basically protect the general society from idiots. So the government can actually limit our rights if they can justify it in court. And that's where all the mumbo jumbo is going to probably happen. Basically, I'm guessing that a main question is going to be whether it's reasonable and justifiable to expect Canadians coming from abroad with a negative PCR test to quarantine mandatorily and pocketing the $2,000 while exposing themselves to security risks, violations of their liberty, etc. Etc. My personal opinion is that the courts are probably going to be okay with it if the government can show that the alternative is going to be putting the rest of the society at health risks as a result of COVID and the effect is just to keep people in hotels for three days. Like if the effects are just monetary, I don't think the courts are going to care that much. It is a pandemic after all. Either way, by the time the courts actually figure this out, most of these restrictions would be gone and like, this is all going to be pointless. So just, you know, keep that in mind. Just my two cents, Habibi is not legal advice, of course. Do what you want. Something that you should want to do though is to subscribe and watch more of these videos because I do them on a daily basis. And I promise you, you will not regret it. Peace.